All right, good morning, church. Good morning, good morning. Now, please stand as you're able and help us to sing this first song as we get started today. <clears throat> Found it. 
give another round of applause. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When you're in the presence of the Lord, you sing hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, you dance. You dance for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You dance for the Lord. You dance for the Lord. Oh, you know what? That's what happens when, uh, when you fully, I mean, you fully believe in God. Amen? Amen? There's no question within you. No matter what you go through, uh, you just sing hallelujah. No matter what you face today, you just sing hallelujah. Amen? Amen. You may be seated, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, church. Good morning. God is good. All the time. All the time. Praise the Lord, my friend. Whether you like it or not, God is so good. Amen? Amen? Yeah, even if you do not take breakfast this morning, even if it's too cold, God is still good. Amen? Hallelujah. I want to welcome you all. For those who are watching online, my brothers and sisters in Christ in Sarasota, we want to welcome you. We love you. Uh, whatever you're watching in Africa, in America, in Europe, we, it's a blessing to be together this morning and sing hallelujah and dance for the Lord. When you dance for the Lord, you remember, do you know that in the Bible there is this guy called David? Mm -hmm. And there was another guy, actually he's a king, he's like, he's like our president, Joe Biden. He was sick. And they called David to sing for that sick person and dance and healing happen. So keep dancing. <laughs> Keep dancing for the Lord. Keep dancing for the Lord. Something is happening. Amen. Amen. All right. We're going to hear a, a, a testimony. As you know, that brothers and sisters in Christ, we are in the month. Uh, next month, next Sunday is the last Sunday. Uh, I know for those who want to, uh, sorry, because the voice of God are going to sing. For those who uh, use the mic for French. Uh, mes frères et sœurs qui écoutent le français, uh, 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 de, le, la personne qui fait la translation, elle va chanter bientôt, là, et puis elle va partir là-bas. Uh, je vais seulement vous rappeler que la, le dimanche prochain, c'est le de, dernier dimanche d'amener le carte. Vous avez eu ça uh, dans vos mails, il faut amener ça. Those who have, haven't turned this, you know, you, can you see that this thing is coming together? Did you see that? So some of you haven't turned on your card, so you are, you, are, you are still holding your card. So next Sunday, when we come on Sunday, we make sure everything is complete. Your card, my card, will be, will make this one complete. Amen? Uh, do you know that in our church we have got leaders? Actually, one of the leaders is not here. One of them is uh, on the back there. Donald. Donald is part of our leadership team. Uh, do you know, uh, Michael, <laughs> do you know that the leaders of the church... Because they are leaders, they want to lead by example. They stood up, they said, we as leaders, we are going to turn our card the third Sunday. So today, all the leaders are turning their card in. Amen? They are leading by example. That's how we call followers of Jesus Christ. Because you trusted them, they want to show their whole uh, congregation and God also blessing them and Taiwan is part of that he's part of the leadership team too so today is our last day for the leaders to turn their card in so we are going to hear a story I mean there's a video that I love it uh, well, the church has done a lot this year but uh, I love the video this morning number one because we have got a great singer in that video better than Jacob <laughs> uh, did I say that Okay, let's let listen to that video first, and then you are going to tell me after. Anyway, uh, and but uh, Jacob is singing that video in Jessica too, and it's about what the church has been doing this month, uh, this year. I mean, this year. So watch the video before our our sister comes and share with us. Every day holds opportunities to serve God. We remember from Matthew twenty five forty. Truly, I tell you, just as you did it to the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. So today, our prayer is to be present to those closest to us so that our service may be a reminder of Jesus' love for our world. And um, this month, 
We have uh, rice going into our boxes. We've got potatoes, onions, butternut squash. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, some of you know who I am, but I think a lot of you don't know who I am. My name is Tarwin Rouse, and I am finance chair. I am here to share two items with you this morning, the first of which is a giving testimonial. I have attended Mount Hope since Bill Haggard. 
And I have truly been inspired to give because of many of you, because you clearly demonstrate a spirit of generosity. I have come to believe that you give as a faith discipline and not just to pay the bills. And because of your love for our Lord Jesus Christ and to support our mission to make disciples. Jesus is no doubt at work at Mount Hope because we are making a difference in the community and lives are being transformed. Because of your inspiration, my giving has increased. I give because I love the Lord and I want to invest in his work as an act of worship because I'm grateful for and thankful for absolutely everything. Everything I am, everything I have, and everything I will be is because of our Heavenly Father. He sent his son to die on a cross for us. Mm. It is a great privilege to have witnessed over the years at Mount Hope all that God has had in store and how he uses our faithful gifts for his glory. Being a part of the finance committee I've come to learn how important it is that we allocate funds on our budget for local and global outreach, which is consistent with biblical principle. Because when we do that, we help the poor and we help the needy. This church is nearly 106 years strong because of the generations of families and the leaders of those generations who remain faithful. We are blessed to have many new families, and we have no doubt you too will be leaders in faith. We are truly blessed to be led by Pastor Eric, whose fire and passion for the Lord is infectious. My second item to share with you this morning is a brief update on the church's finances. It is also biblical that we be good stewards of the gifts you give to further God's kingdom. God is good and continues to bless our church, I believe because he touches the hearts of all of you, as giving has remained strong and healthy, even though we experienced a very traumatic pandemic. Because of that, I stand in awe of God, and I stand in awe of you. There are some funds remaining that will follow us into 2022, and for our 2022 budgeting, we've been conservative in our expense estimating, which is somewhat in line with what we did for 2021. God willing, we will be back to normal in 2022, which will obviously result in increased spending. And in, in speaking of increased spending, our ministry shares for 2022 did increase. They will be about 11% of our budget for next year. Even though that is the case, we will remain faithful and exercise integrity by paying 100% of our district and conference ministry shares to support the UMC. And then in terms of our 2022 giving uh, estimating. Many, many, many thanks to all of you who have turned in pledge cards. We have 29 turned in to date. And while we're waiting for more pledge cards to come in, we walk in faith that God will continue to provide. I share Ephesians 3, 2021. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our books are open. I am happy to answer any questions any of you may have. Feel free to call me or email me. Thank you and God bless. Good morning, church. Morning. Good morning, church. Good morning. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. We are going to worship God again. And we would like to invite the church to worship God with us. We are singing a song which is in two languages, uh, Lingala and French. 
and we uh, the meaning of the song is in heaven and here on earth and above everything God, our God remain on top of everything and the chorus says so we are gathering together in your presence to give all the glory back to you that's the meaning of the song thank you so much Give us just a second. We're just going to get the bass guitar here. Just a minute. So oh. 
Thank you, voice of God. Thank you, praise the Lord. Give another round of applause. We are in the house of the Lord. Yes. Oh, yes, the Lord. Yes, the Lord. Can we take this moment and pray? I'm inviting you to pray. Je vous invite de prier. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Pray in French, in Swahili, or in English. Those who are watching online, pray with us. Let us lift up our voices. Bombe, prions nom de Jésus Christ. Alléluia. Éternel Dieu de gloire, Seigneur Père, nous voici devant toi encore une fois, te glorifier et te dire merci parce que tu es un Dieu vivant. Seigneur, nous te glorifions encore une fois parce que ta présence est ici avec nous, ô oh Dieu de gloire. Nous, nous élevons notre voix vers toi ce matin-ci. Implorons ta grâce, ta bénédiction et, ta, et la guérison dans notre vie au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. Père Jéhovah, je suis vraiment convaincu que tu es ici présent. J'implore selon ton écriture la puissance du Saint-Esprit de guérir le gens au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ, Dieu de gloire. Fais que Dieu de gloire, notre présence dans ta présence, Seigneur, nous justifie, ô oh Dieu de gloire, nous bénisse au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. Père Jéhovah, nous disons merci, nous demandons encore, Papa, le pardon. Nous sommes péchés, on a péché d'une manière et d'une autre. Nous demandons, Seigneur, de nous pardonner au nom puissant de l'Éternel. Nous implorons le son de l'agneau de nous sanctifier, de nous purifier dans le nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. Père Jéhovah, la Bible déclare que, Seigneur, tu nous as donné l'autorité, Papa, de, de déclarer, Seigneur, ce matin si je déclare dans le nom puissant de Jésus-Christ, tout esprit qui ne confesse pas ta parole dans cette église, même dans, toute, dans, 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 le, dans la vie de tout un chacun, je suis en train de les détruire dans le nom puissant de Jésus-Christ, Dieu de gloire, alléluia. Les esprits sataniques, les esprits fétichisme, les esprits démoniaques, les esprits de maladie, les esprits des crises, les esprits de confusion, les esprits saints, Seigneur, Père Jéhovah, Alléluia, des esprits, Papa, de Jézabel. Je suis en train de vous détruire dans le nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. Glory to God. Merci, Seigneur, parce que Dieu de gloire, toi, tu nous as dit, lorsqu'on déclare, Papa, toi, tu as affirmé ça au nom de Jésus-Christ. Alléluia, Alléluia, gloire à Dieu, Seigneur. Béni et sois loué. Ô oh, Dieu, Père, que ta présence règne dans notre Église, que ta présence, Papa, justifie, que ta présence, Papa, élève sa gloire au nom de Jésus-Christ. Alléluia. Merci Dieu Père, sois béni et sois loué. Sois merci. Alléluia. Agis Papa, agis pour la gloire de ton existence. Agis au oh Dieu des gloires. Change notre vie Père Jéhovah. Change notre comportement. Change notre direction. Père, fais-le pour la gloire de ton existence. Nous sommes tes instruments. Nous demandons, toi seul, tu agis dans cette église. Agis, Père Jéhovah. Merci, Père, parce que tu es Seigneur. Au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ, nous prions ensemble et nous disons Amen. Thank you, friends, brothers and sisters in Christ. All right, uh, today we're going to share the word of God together quickly. Uh, I need this table to be up here. Father, 
I come before your throne of grace and humble myself before you because this is the day you have made. Without you, I'm nothing. Father Lord, I pray, may you open the floodgate of heavens, release your Holy Spirit to open our eyes to see, our ears to hear, our heart to receive your word. As I stand before your children, may you be increased as I decrease. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, we are going to uh, share this word quickly, the word of the Lord. Uh, this morning, God will speak to us on the message, the power of giving. La puissance de donner, the power of giving. As you know that this month we are talking about giving. You know, I'm your brother in Christ, and I'm your pastor. I feel very humble to serve in this church. If you don't know, uh, one, of the, uh, uh, one of the challenges in my journey as a pastor on the message to preach about is giving. I don't really like to preach about giving. I don't. But I have to. Amen? I have to because I'm one of the person in, the, in this world. I will stand on it. I don't pick and choose in the scripture. Amen? Yes. If the scripture talks about love, then it talks about money. If it talks about giving, if the Bible talks about healing, it talks about restoration. Amen? If the Bible talks about forgiveness, it talks about also visitation. So everything is in it. Amen? For money this month, as you know, we are, uh, uh, God is speaking to all of us so that we can carry this ministry next year. Because of your giving, because of my giving, because of every single person giving, this church remains open every day. Amen? So we're going to read the scripture from the book of Psalm chapter 84. Chapter 84. It says this. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. Look at that one. The Lord will withhold no good things from those who do what is right. God will never, will never and ever and ever withhold good things for those who do right. So those who, are keep, those who are doing good, keep doing good. Amen? God, my brothers and sisters, God is not a withholder. God is not a taker. God is not a taker. God does not only take, God gives. God is a giver. Say it with me. God is a giver. Can you say that with me? God is a giver. God is not a taker. God is a giver. He's not. God has given us His Son, Jesus Christ. The book of John 3.16. All the children, they know this book. John 3.16. You know that book, even all the adults. Ah, you know, I, whenever I ask somebody, a Christian, you know, even a newborn again, and say, can you tell me about one of the scriptures you know? Yes, I know. John 3, 16. So, love, so God loved the world. He gave His only Son. Did you hear that? He gave His only Son to die for you and me. He does not take, he always gives. And by the way, God gives us the first fruit. God never sent angel Michael to save us. God never sent prophet to save us, to die for us. God never sent King David to die for me or to die for you. When the angel appeared to Mary... On that particular night, the angel said, Mary, I'm not dying for the world. There is Jesus who's going to die for the world. And that person is coming from God. Amen? God could not pick up, you know, angel Michaels. How many angels? We have plenty angels, thousands of angels. For some of you, you don't pray. I want to encourage you to keep on praying. Or to stand up and pray. Because when you pray, you hire one angel from heaven coming from you. Angels in heaven, they don't have jobs. They are jobless. 
The only thing they do every morning, hallelujah, hallelujah. Until you pray, until I pray, and one angel stand up and say, God, God will say, hey, 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 Michael, 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 uh, you know, Gabriel, Gabriel, wake up, wake up. Go for that son. Go for that daughter. I love them. Go and fight for that person. That's what angel does. The angel in heaven, again, they are jobless. They don't have a job. The only place they work is when they come on earth. So God did not send angel Michael to die for me or to die for you. God, because Michael was not the first. Jesus was the first. Jesus was the first. The first is power. The first. God gave us the first fruit who died on the cross so that you and I can be part of the many believers because of the first fruit. That is the power of giving the first. In other words, you and I are gathering here at Mount Hope because of the first was given to die for us. Look at the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Look at what he said. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead. Do you see that? The first fruit of those who have those who have fallen asleep. The first. Not the second. God never gave us a second. God gave us the first. Because God is a giver, we are called to be givers. God honor us with his first fruit. Maybe some of you, you don't get what I'm saying. Let me share with you something here this morning. I'm going to share something with you very quickly. Let me remove this. All right. Uh, I've got something like called grips here. Oh, God. I've got grips in this plastic bag. Did you see that? We have 10 grips in this one. God says, right here, God says, enjoy the nine, and you give me only one, 10%. We talk about tithing. And it is not me. It is God who's talking about this. God says, you give me my 10%. So you have got 10 grips. God says, give me my 10% from my 10 grip, from your 10 grips. You just take one. This is for God. And you keep how many? Nine. Uh, I think some of you are not getting it. Let me do something different. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I love, I love, I love this. <laughs> Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. <laughs> uh, I've got $10 with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. God says, give me my 10% and you keep the rest. $1 for God. How many? $9. Keep it. Who's losing? Is it God or is you? Actually, God is losing. You're getting it. Ah, maybe you're not getting it. You are, you are not, you are, uh, no, no, my friend, you're not, you not, you not trying to get it. Let me do this again. All right. Uh, I've got peanuts. Ten peanuts. When you go for harvest, you harvest peanuts ten don't crack it. Don't be greedy. No, 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 no. Before even you open it, before even you start eating your, your peanut, you take one, one for God. How many? Who's losing? God is losing. God is not taking nine. God is taking on 10%. Are you with me? Uh, yes, um, I, I wanted to be with me. Friend, some of you are messing up because you give God what is due to him on the back. God said before you pay any bills, even your house bill, even your car bill, 
Before you pay any deal, make sure I have my 10% and you pay the rest. But some of us, we are doing the reverse. We pay all the bills and say, oh, <laughs> this is what I have now for the Lord. I'm going to give to God. Um, maybe you're not getting it. Let me, the Bible says, look at what the Bible says. Proverbs 3, 9. Honor the Lord with your position and with the what? The first fruit of all your increase. All your increase. He wants the first. Why? Because he gave us the God never gave us Michael. God never gave us uh, John the Baptist to die for us. God gave us Jesus Christ the first to die for us. Oh God, Jesus, some people they are looking at me. Oh my goodness, I will, I will never come to that church. Please come again because this is the word of God. Amen. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes, that's the truth for the word. Hallelujah. Uh, maybe you are not getting it. Let me, let me get another one. I've got, I've got strawberries. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. What is this? Strawberries. God says, when you get these 10 strawberries, don't suckle them before you give me one. Don't, don't rush it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You take one, you give to God, and you keep how many? Nine. Who's losing? Still God is losing. You are getting it. Look at your table. Look at our side and look at God. Maybe you are not getting it. Let me keep on doing it. All right, I've got how many? I've got 10 apples. God says when you go and pick up 10 apples, don't start calling Pastor Eric and come and get your come and get my apple. Come, don't call anybody. Don't call your brother or your sister. Hey, can you come and get my apple? No, God says, give me one first. First, God. Mm. For God. Oh, this nine. For you. Oh, wow. Praise the Lord. Maybe you're not getting it. Let me do it again. I've got 10 bananas. So when you pick up 10 bananas, God is saying, before you start peeling your banana and start eating it, don't do anything with banana. Just give me one. And you take the, you take the, yes. Actually, you are creating space in it to free you a little bit. Who's losing? Still, God is losing. You are getting it. Look at your table. Look at what you're having, my brothers and sisters. And God is talking about. Before you do anything, maybe you're not getting it. What is this? Tomatoes. God said, when you get your tomatoes, <laughs> don't start cooking and making those, you know, those African soup. I love them. Don't do that. Don't, oh no, <laughs> I'm a heater. I can heat. Don't put, uh, you know, don't put on, the, on the, your salad yet. Don't do anything. You give me one, and you keep what? Because it's too much. Yeah, that's what happened. When you have a lot, you can't even feed it in your house. You see, it's too much. And look at God. Brothers and sisters in Christ, just honor, God is saying, honor me with the first fruit. When you honor God with the first fruits, God is saying, you're going to advance my kingdom. When we do that together, your first fruit, when you get it, you sit down and you say, Lord, I'm going to give you my first fruit. Friend, you are not losing. You are blessed. Amen? The first. That's 
why you and I, we are here today. When you give the first, God is going to bless you. And we are children of the living God. How many times you say, I'm a child of God, I'm a child of... When you are a child of God, you have to act like Him. When He says, love, you love, right? When He says, forgive, you do forgive. When He says, give... You give because you are a child of the living God. Listen to what it says in the book of Ephesians. Look at that. Imitates. It talks about imitate. Imitates, therefore, in everything you do, not something, in everything you do, because you are his dear children. His dear children. Wow. How many of you are children of the Lord? All of you. We are God's children. I love the other uh, translation. He talks about we are followers. We are followers of God. We match God. Now, if we are children of God, therefore we should imitate God. If God is a, is, God is a giver who gave us his first from his heart, therefore we should also be givers who are giving the first from our heart. We need to give from our heart. We need to do it from here. I'm giving to God. You know, I want you to say this to yourself. Say, I want you to repeat after me. Just say, I'm a, I'm a giver. Like God. Yes. Give like God. Now, let me finish with this three, uh, two uh, uh, quickly. Uh, 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 powerful word. Giving expresses faith. Do you know that? Giving. You do not have faith until you are willing to give it away. Until you are willing to give it away. That faith. Giving express faith. When you are writing your card, when you are giving to God and say, Lord, I'm going to give you next year this amount. That faith. You are acting on faith because you don't even know how January is going to look like. Maybe we're going to have COVID-20. COVID we don't know. Maybe we're going to have COVID something. We don't know. You are doing it by faith. I'm doing it by faith to God. Amen? Giving expresses faith. Sometimes the greatest ex expression of faith is to give when you do not have. There is, a, there, is a, there is a scripture in the Bible, Mark chapter, uh, Mark, um, uh, Mark chapter 12. There, there's a story that speaks about this widow who had, the faith, who, who had faith in God. The Bible says there, were widow, there was a widow. Everybody was going there and giving and giving. And this, widow, this woman just came up and said I, I, she gave everything that she had. That faith. She gave everything that she had. Faith is expressed through your giving. Sometimes in uh, giving in pressure, express your faith. Sometimes when you are being pressured, then you give that faith. Amen? The second one, giving attracts favor. Keep giving. Friend, people who give always have favor in their lives from God. People who give always have favor from God. Look how the Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians 9, 7. It speaks about how God loves a cheerful giver because God himself is a giver. When God made a decision in heaven and said, I'm going to send Jesus Christ, he was not angry. <laughs> God was not, oh, no, why am I sending Jesus? No, God was so happy. God was saying, praise the Lord. I'm giving 
my son, my firstborn to the world so that I can gain all these people, the entire world. Jesus was born in Jerusalem. Jesus was not born in Africa. Jesus was not born in America. But look at how many believers we have in Africa. How many believers we have in America. Because someone, God, a giver, who decided to give his first with joy. That's why we are here together. Jesus was born in a family with a carpenter, Joseph. And he even went to Egypt as refugees. And he died on the cross because of my sins and your sins. And today we are here because God is a giver. He gave the first. And when you give the first, there is a favor. Favor will flow in your life, brothers and sisters. That is favor from God. But until you give with joy, until you give with joy in your heart and from your heart for God, then you'll begin to experience that joy. Amen? Brothers and sisters in Christ, we are called to advance God's kingdom of saving souls with our giving. With our giving. Remember to give from your heart and give your first as God did it. I'm inviting Jacob to come up here. Brothers and sisters, you know, I, I want to share this story with you, my personal story. Amen? When I got a job, when I finished my degree in Africa, at Africa University in Zimbabwe in 2018, I went home, I got a very good job. I mean, very good job. Like in Africa, when you get a job there, you are getting paid like a thousand. That's a lot of money. Eight hundred, that's a lot of money. I got that job. I remember, I want to share this with you quickly. I remember my first salary. And by the way, we do it even here. My wife and I, we do it here. But for some of you, maybe you don't know the culture. That's what happened in Africa. Maybe some people from a different culture, uh, different places in Africa, they don't do that. But in my culture, where I came from, we do that. Maybe you, you are going to get connected with what I want to say. In Africa, when you get a job the first time, especially kids and our children, I'm speaking to you. If we do that in your culture, you better do it now. When you get a first job, your first salary, no matter how much it is, even it's 20,000 US dollars, you take everything, you take everything, you take everything, you put it in your pocket, you just go, mama, 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 this is my salary. Do you do that? This is my salary. And your mama will take time with the papa, the, your father. They will take time. And you, just, you don't even say, Mommy, I want to buy shoes. I want to go to Lansing Mall. I want to go on Amazon and check things. No, you don't say that. You don't say that. You let your mama and your papa take the money first. And then they're not going to take it all. What happened with my parents? They called me the following day. They said, come, Eric. And then they, what they did, they take a little. They, they, they acted like God. They take a very little. And they gave me everything. And my mom said, don't forget to give your 10% to church. Friend, I want to tell you that tithing is a baby step. If you are not able to tithe and think like I'll be, whenever I've got a lot of money, you will not. Tithing is a baby step. Whatever you have, you say, I'm going to give to God. And whenever you're gonna, God is going to bless you with the Lord, you're going to now reach to offering. Offering is different than tithing. Offering, you extend your hands in the community. Offering, you extend the hand in the, even in the world, different organization. Offering, you give even when they are not asking for giving. But until you start with the 10%. Amen. That's what I've learned from my mama. That's what I've learned from the Bible. Just give the ten. The first you give to God. And God is going to bless you. Look at all the blessings. Look at all the blessings. In Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you.
May God speak to you, my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. This is the time I'm inviting you on this particular day as God spoke to us on giving. It is time for you to come up here as Jacob is going to sing. Uh, you can also stand up, please. Stand up, we're going to sing together. Remember even that widow. The widow said, I don't have anything, but I'm giving this to God. That's what I'm giving. Give the first. So this time I'm inviting you to give to God. To give to God, walk up here and put in your offering. It's a time you can even think of your tithing or anything. You just come and say, Lord, I'm giving you this for your glory. This is the time you can also turn in your card. If you came with your card, the green card, the yellow card, you can bring it in and put it in the basket. In Jesus' name.
this little light of mine. Wait, wait, wait for a minute. I'm coming back. Just give me two minutes. I want to show you something. Don't go anywhere. Let's play some traveling music. <laughs> yep. That's a, okay. I want to show you. This is what Jacob was singing. All right. That's what Jacob was singing. The lights. We put the light on, but uh, the light of Jesus is in your heart. Amen? He's in your heart. So don't leave your lights here. Don't come only on Sunday. That's when your light shines. Mm -mm. We don't. God said, take it every day. Amen? Uh -huh. I don't want to see any light of you to stay in this church. No, we don't need your light. Take it out. Go with our lights and shine in your community every day. Hello, sister. Hello, brothers. Go with our lights at workplaces. Go with our lights in the shops. Go in our lights everywhere. The light of Jesus every day. You know when you go outside with the lights? Next Sunday when you come up here, this room will be full of lights. Because you are the light. Amen. Friend, as you go, before you go, you know, we have a children choir. Please, we are practicing today. Next week, we are going to uh, perform. Uh, we have been invited to a church uh, next week. I don't know where it is. The announcement is anyway. Um, uh, yes, we are going next week on the 28th. Uh, please join us at 6 o'clock. And um, as your pastor, I will also speak in that church. I'm going to have an opportunity to talk about... Jesus. So come and support mamas. Come and support your children. Parent, please. The children are going to sing. Amen? And next Sunday, I'm inviting all the parents. 
And those who are willing, who are, who are, those who are called to, uh, to serve in the family ministries. Next week, after church, please, I'm inviting you. We need to help our children. Children, raise up your hand. Children, do this, please. Uh -huh. Yes, we need to help these children. We need to help them. So I'm inviting parents and, and volunteers who are called to serve to stay beyond. We're going to have a little bit of talk about the family ministry. Amen? Amen. All right. And food. As the church, today we are giving food. So go in the gym and get your food. Amen? Yeah, go in the gym and get your food. Let us receive benediction. We have a breakfast. Children, breakfast. Take your breakfast on the back. Let us receive benediction. Father, as we go out, I pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, let that light shine in our heart. Father, help us to carry the lights out. Because when that light stays in us, we'll be even able to give from our heart. We'll be able to give the first. Bless each and every child of yours. Father, use them, God, in this ministry for the glory of your name. We thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray together and we say it, amen. amen. Go in peace, my fellow brothers and sisters. Amen.